I think we are doing all right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Last time we were with uh, Sampo in Firefly. And yeah, Sampo was kind of sus, as usual. And, um, well. I shouldn't show you guys because uh, I had uh, I was working on the chests in Penacroni, I mean in the golden hour rather. And um uh, I tried to get them but I triggered some of the dialogue. My bad. But yeah, um I understand that the uh, this uh, bubble pinball thing and yeah, it was kinda interesting to say the least. Uh, a transportation mechanism developed by Soulglad Enterprise by activating and rotating plates, players can bounce to their destination via the, pin the pinball machine. So yeah, I know the concept. Hell, <laughs> <coughs> so that's great. But anyways, let's get started. So yeah, last time we were fly fireflying Sampo. As you can see, the title of this quest is Good Omen, my friend. Head to Pepe, Pepeshi Salon. Yeah, because um, apparently Sample wanted to bring us to uh, an adult kind of a <laughs> joyful enterprise. So, let's see what this is all about. Uh, as usual, if you're on the side of YouTube, then make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe. Uh, activate the notification bell and leave a comment down below so that you may uh, about tell me what your thoughts are regarding Panacroni and of course two, uh, version 2.0 since uh, you know I'm still on that version uh, already on version 2.2 .2. but uh, then there, there again I don't know um, anyways I think without further ado let's not ramble too much and let's get started Alrighty, poster. Flood this butter, one of Panatoni's famous delicacies. Hand free fill this butter in the test. Uh, taverns. Alright. What oh, this? What about this? Already. Clothing is the best weapon for encountering Romans, and you're worth the best clothes. Is this. the lower level of the commercial district? It seems like it. Bingo! Our destination is right there. Pepe Pepeshi Salon. Pepe Pepeshi Salon. Yeah. Uh, let's see about that. Clutchy pizza, potty food that even Clutchy loves. Oh! Oh, oh, don't think I didn't see you. Come on. Lit. Yank. What's wrong? Is there a problem with my acting? Chirp. Uh, you're parodying as Clotty? No, I'm not. I'm a loyal fan, Chirp. These posters are the ones they doing it the service for by drawing its nose for too short, Chirp. Okay, I should return to my other peeps to talk about Clotty's story, Chirp. Yeah, we do that. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> Let's see this. Today's dreamscape, tomorrow's memories, trendy dull billboard. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. So, of course, I've n I've not I've not ventured into this area now, but I mean before. I I wanted to do it like first time, you know. I want it to be fair to my to my followers or to anyone watching that I did not load this area yet. Yeah, thankfully we're in a dream, right? Cash pure, please spew this money. Can't tell when the windfall will come. Yeah, definitely don't know. Uh, this is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Pepeshi people, or uh -huh. those with VIP cards. VIP cards, you say? But then again, nothing is too difficult for 
Sampo. Yeah, Sampo Dusty. You've had quite yeah. a bit to drink. This guy's you busting some moves. Right? Nice. Let's get this all out of the way. I want to go there. I don't know if there's something interesting here. Yep, there is something interesting Can I here. Drive it without a license? Another one. The sun's shining down. It's so warm here. Chirp. Yeah. What are you doing tunneling into the exhaust pipe? The warm sunshine in the pipe's hot, hot air can heat me up. Chirp. Forget it. I'm going back to everyone's side to keep warm. Chirp. Yeah, you do that. You do that. I can't imagine how much this billboard wants to be free as uh, a sufferer. I just want to make sure that I have not um, leave anything unattended. Just like this thing here. <laughs> Alright. This damn will affect my joints. Yeah. They want us to become part of the family, but I don't know. All roads lead to dreams. All travels use sephiroids. Is that how you say it? Sephiroids? I don't know. Oh. Collectible. Alfalfa bank insurance paper. I don't know. Might be that. Stand. You've had quite a bit to drink. Are you sure you're okay? The shop does not sell items. Responsible for trade trading valuable items for money alone. Cool. So do not wish to leave a spend uh, two more days in the dream. Alright. Okay. Uh, You've so had glad I think this drink. is uh yeah. You sure you're okay? Cielo. Pesci club bouncer. Hey, CLO. Freeze! Come over here to me. This is a Pepeshi only club. Are you a Pepeshi? Uh, what's so great about the Pepeshi people? Because the Pepeshi are a great people. We are the most intelligent race in the whole universe, as well as the most hardworking and energetic. Smart, motivated, sincere, friendly. We're completely different than from creatures who only know how to show off their height. My apologies, but you're not welcome here. Please get out. Let me give you a suggestion. It's time you come here. Try and strutting down low on the ground and talking to me. Maybe I'll be in a good mood and let you slide. Uh, can I touch the fluff ball on your head? Because why not? Huh? Did I hear that right? I dare you to say that again in front of all the Pepeshi uh, people in Penetronis here. Uh, yeah, of course I will. Alright, rude. Don't forget what you said. Just wait until you're beaten black and blue by Pepeshi right hook. Yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, as long as I'm shorter than you, you'll let me in? That's just a minimum requirement. Children of other species, artificial mechanical life forms, all those who are under the height limit due to special circumstances, none of them may enter, either. The rules are crystal clear, so don't try and pull any funny stuff. What about the ditting? Of course, artificial entities won't meet the requirements. I already made that very clear. What about the Wilbur Boot? Astral spirits? They have no physical form, so they're a special circumstance. Of course they don't meet the requirements, I already made that very clear. What about Arctic Bear Cubs? Don't trouble with me on the, of the definition of cubs and children. No juveniles of any species. I already made that very clear. What about the Pesci who are taller than you? <laughs> I knew someone would ask me that question. I wrote to inform you that I'm the tallest Pepeshi in all of Panatoni. How else do you think I got to work this gig? What about me? Stop trying to stir up drama. If you keep doing this, I'll have to call the Bloodhound family over. Oh yeah? Let me explain this. Only the Pepeshi people are entitled to enter the Pepeshi club. Do you understand now? What if I changed my dreamscape avatar to Pepeshi? 
Besides visual observations, we also check the visitor stream's chase pass to verify their ethnic data and place of origin so that nobody can enter while impersonating the Pepeshi. I advise you to stop coming up with crooked schemes. Okay, but um, what if a Pepeshi person changed their dreamscape avatar? To protect the rights of all club members, based on regulations, if dreamscape pass credentials are able to prove that you are a Pepeshi visitor, then try an entry into the club will be permitted, which is to say any appearance is allowed in. Taking this to its logical conclusion, then yes, but very few, almost no special circumstances, almost never. How would you know if I'm not Pepeshi? Hmm. I'm sorry for this misunderstanding, I apologize and I'm very sorry. Is that good enough? If you've got nothing else to go, please go! Oh, please, uh, to say. <coughs> okay. Um, that was a interesting development. Yesterday, this is the entrance to Hanu's adventure. In the industry, you transform yourself into a miniature Hanu uh, first to proceed. I understand. But I want to see if there are any. Chirp, what are you doing here? It took me so long to find a way to fly without flapping my wings, Chirp. This chubby is amazing, it won't come down if I fly into the sky. I don't have to use up so much energy, feel super comfy, Chirp. Forget it, it's not too bad to rely on my own weight sometimes. Yeah, right. Right. Um, so I can't do the Hanu's adventures right now. I have to complete a certain quest if I remember correctly. I'm also looking for all these um, origami birds, but um, I don't know if I've gotten all of them. These are all Pepeshis, that's for sure. The Pepeshi bodyguard. Okay, let's follow up with the story. Here we are again, pal. Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, increasing the volume just to hear everything. Okay. Yeah. Right. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. No, no, just three. Three. Show me your VIP card. Mm hmm No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. Mm -hmm. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Oh, come on, Sampo. Should we do? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Oh yeah? Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking about? Just a few intense emotions. As far as how we'll use them, you just wait and see. 
intense emotions, right? Let me have a look at the the dialogue you just mentioned. So betrayal, doubt, hatred, a clown. Interesting. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Yeah. I don't think we'll stay here though. These alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. Hmm. Okay. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Hanu's adventure. Let's go. Whoa. Wait. Uh, let's have a look. Emotion prototype. The moment of betrayal. You will always remember the trust and gentleness of that person. The persuasion and incitement from those people. And the surprise whispered from that person the moment you drew your dagger. Uh, at two, my child. Okay. Uh, emotion prototype, a cloud of doubt. You sit up, a cloud of sadness forming in your mind. The words you have promised to others begin to falter. Are you really not a loser? Can you really achieve anything? Have you really chosen the right path? A fire ignites from the depths of your heart, and for one moment, tempting you to burn everything from the past to drown. Motion prototype, everlast everlasting hatred. Okay. Um, as you read this message, please consider this the following advice. Send a message to your nemesis and tell them that you have forgiven them. Our lives are too short to be wasted on feuds. Motion prototype, broken dreams. Shards like this can only be found everywhere throughout Pentatoni. They once belonged to broken hearts. In the realm of black dreams I sleep, where the distinctions of right or wrong are buried deep. Wow, chat. Wow. That's impressive. Is that a TV? Yeah, is Why that is a this TV? TV dumped on the side of the road? Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This five machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Oh. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Yeah. Why don't you try it yourself? you enjoy this first-hand experience <laughs> yeah of course it's just a suggestion if you aren't up for it uh, I'll do it myself the two almost synchronously turned their gaze towards you or perhaps more precisely it was three of them driven the guy with a trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen yeah you know it's time to make a choice, so you do, you do, do you want to take a cho the chance and touch the cell vision to see what intriguing events might unfold? Yeah, it seems like I'm left with no other choice, but uh, touch it uh, three times. <clears throat> take a deep breath, close your eyes, muster great courage, and with a resolve as weighty as three exclamation marks, reach out the, the suspicious screen before you. Alright. Uh, it's morphing time, Hanu. Oh my. Wow. Hey, what's what's happened to me? Wait, what? What's going on? Why did you turn into this thing? Yeah, well, I mean I'm asking the same question. Eh, <laughs> draw she does at all. That other grunt that sounds cool. I think I've been sucked into the TV. I have no idea what happened. I don't know what's happening. 
You desperately want to save these, uh, but somehow you transform into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a chanted in Tastun's figure, a calm, reliable, cool leader of the werewolves from Panatoni's famous long form cartoon, Clutchy. You silently protect the piece of Dreamvale, draw into your character traits. You can only make a cool grunting noise as a res response right now. I think I've been sucked into the TV. Looks like I got sucked into the TV. You desperately want to say this, but somehow you've transformed to a certain cartoon character. E yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, you're just a tall. <sighs> yeah. A certain cartoon character, right? Hanu. Is it Hanu or Hanyu? I don't know. Uh, you also the- oh, wait. Uh, a lover of your hat and leader of the werewolves from Penetroni's famous long form cartoon Clotty. You're also the mascot of the Bloodhound family. This is a new piece of information. You suddenly protect a piece of Dreamville. With a grunt that sounds cool. You made an extremely cool grunt. Man, really. It was cool, so cool. You look so cool. Yeah. You got swag now, pal. I'm sweaty. So, how did he turn into that? The TV. Oh, Point oh, at the TV. You don't get it, do you? Well, you were sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> so I'm inside right now. Huh? Look. The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. Hanu. According okay. to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. The boss? You will embark Stone? on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. <laughs> now, All right. If you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. Mm-hmm. I mean, I should not talk, so... That's how it rendered sounds cool, because, you know... <laughs> you made a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you never change back if you can't keep being this cool? Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure! You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal! Challenge? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> of course we will. Good luck! Alright, so... Uh, Hanu's Adventure Part 1. Club Studios has designed an arcade game in Penatoni's Dreamscape. Able to let the guests play the cartoon character Hanu through the transform device. And experience a miraculous adventure in the corner of the Dreamscape. In the story of Hanu's Adventure, he was made smaller by both Boss Stone's strange device. He then had to experience a great a grand adventure by with his small body and take back the treasure Boss Stone took from the town. A pair of wolf light sharp eyes are hidden to Hanu's sunglasses. Use the button to activate his Hanu vision to observe tools that can be utilized and try to find a hidden treasure. All right, let's go then. Look at this little guy. So cool. He's so cool. Anyways, let's go. Hanu, enter. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. I mean, uh, no. Oh, I look how small you become. You won't be able to escape this time! Oh yeah? You think? <laughs> Better guess again. Better guess again. Not ready. I mean... Not ready to die just yet. 
I did not jump, but I did run. I mean, that would have been incredible if I could jump, but no. So, is this supposed to be the boss? Okay, but investigate. The balloons placed by the boston have hindered hindered Dino's way. Those who are not shrunken can probably destroy the balloons. Those who are not shrunken. Okay. Um. Okay, well. Yeah. Let's go. No, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. You have no secret. <laughs> Good night. No, I can't. Alright, let's go back into Hanus. Alright, let's go. It's morphin' time. Ooh, I see something. And I also see an origami bird. It is, um, there, straight. Yank. It's so stuffy in here, Chip. Are you here to save me? Without Red Run, that sounds cool. Well, cool. <laughs> it's so cool that the birdie tilts its head at you. Chirp? <laughs> chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> chirp. <laughs> hey, hey, um, hmm. You can't talk at all. Forget it. Thank you, chirp. I'm leaving now. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. How are you, though? I hope you're doing good, Maiden. I hope uh, everything is working out for you. Uh, what am I supposed to look at? I mean, yeah. Uh, oh, Hanu's Adventure Part 3. I didn't know. I, I mean, I only saw Part 2, but then again. Using the fantastic rockets built by the Origami Bird, Hanu can quickly shift between the ends of different rockets to which places otherwise inaccessible. Just chilling? And it's great. Chilling's good! That means that you don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> It's always a great thing to be able to relax, take it slow, and I see something that... No, 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 no. Take it slow and uh, try to enjoy the... Well... Whoa! Hey, that's great! That's cool! Does it take energy to move from that point to the other? Wow! Okay. Um, I like the jazzy vibe as well. I mean, that's <laughs> pretty normal due to the the type of uh, well media that Han is supposed to be referring to, like mafia and some sorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. So is that the precious treasure? Yeah, but before I do this, I want to, to see if there's anything else over there. Yeah, Hanu, go up. Go, go. Can I unzoom? Yeah. Let's change. Return to normal form. Alright. Let's have a look. Um... Did I? Yeah, I'll get this basic treasure chest because the word between uh, Hauntai Star Rail and uh, Fallout 3 for the time being, and then we'll see. But it's, it's just um, it's just so bad that uh, I can't be 
uh, playing Din Sneak Bat right now. You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Yeah, Buzz Stone, but yeah, um, yeah, it's so bad because there's uh, a new character that's pretty cool right now in Genshin Impact, and I don't have, well, <laughs> the way to play uh, the stories or even play the characters or pull for the characters, so yeah, it's really weird to not be able to play Genshin. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I sure boss stone stop streaming. Anyways, uh, <laughs> after going all around, you find yourself at the entrance to boss stones' maze. Tries to find. Yeah, it's just a strenuous post process, to be honest. In uh, yeah, I'm trying. Emotion prototype, momentary freedom. As the starship traverses the sky. Living behind a trail of clouds, the IPC's pursuers disappear from sight. You exchange a high five with your companions, feeling liberated from any constraints. This is not the end, the looming threat of prison remains. It may be ten years of a, of a hundred, but eventually you return to it. Until then, you can still savor a moment of freedom. Yeah, with the shackles? Obviously. Grand Dude's Crown of Never Flame. Whoa. Now oh, that's crazy. Okay, uh, that's enough, I suppose. Um, so I can go back here. And can I return to my normal form now? Hans Adventure. Now oh, that's crazy. Um, hey, Sempo, I'm back, and Firefly as well. You're back. <laughs> Are you all right? uh, Do you have anything to say, Sempo? Ooh. You have earned it. Well, I'll thank you, Sampo. Thank you. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. What do you what do you mean by real fun, Sampo? Clearly, you're simply just hiding something and you did not tell me. But anyways.